It's boom in sight. I'm on Taco Talks TV. Taco Talks TV. There's my cool on the Taco. Taco Talks TV. <laughs> Taco Talks TV. Taco Talks TV. Man, young Jose. Rest in peace to swipe on YC. Taco Talks TV. Let's talk about you though. How you, how you start rapping? Shit, it always been motherfuckers around me rapping. Yeah, then my cousin started his own little booming movement. So I started fucking with him like two years ago. What's his name? Boom and Doug. Okay. Yeah. So I seen you was rapping what you just started like three years ago? Two. Two. For real, for real. That's what you were taking it serious. Yeah, shit getting serious though now, like. That shit was just like for the hood. But yeah. now it's getting big. Was it um did you have any other rap name before this one? Respect. Um and you got Two takes you just dropped in the middle of, you know what I'm saying, 2020. Uh, one is psychotic, yeah. and I was trying to psychopath. Why you pick those titles? Because I'm psycho, you know what I got to pick very, like, shit got to be with me, like, yeah. relate to me. They're the names that I came up with. People around me be throwing them names out there. So About you or just out, out nah, there? Nah, the tape names, like, okay. I got that name when I was little, so, yeah. Come. Respect. What's your what's your favorite songs off from joints? Psychopath, I fuck with slide music. Fox yeah. Five with Lil Nell. Okay. Uh No Trust. Man, I put my time into that shit. Yeah. Psychotic. I fuck with Wild, Gangsta Pride. Yeah. I like I was I was just listening to both of them joints, right? I like fuck shit or oh, one of them. Then I like my legs. Oh, I think it's on the other joint. I think they're on two separate ones. They yeah. might be on the same one. Oh, yeah, y'all. Yeah. Down bad or something? Nah, one of, one of them fuck shit. And the other joint is. What's the other joint I just said? Hold on. Them joints like that, though. You like talking about Nah, nah. Fuck shit. And um, fuck shit is on one of them. And then, oh, last night. I 
that 200 song, I ain't gonna lie, and that's just all the top of my head. I probably still got some when I was first started rapping. Do you be having a hard time trying to figure out like when to drop? Cause look, the way I think about it, uh, recently King Bond just passed. And we like, damn, we only got what, like three, four mixtapes? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People lost them, but we knew them as an artist. It's like, damn, niggas gonna want more. Why, why hold on to the music? I ain't, I ain't hold, it's, it's shit like, uh, shit don't sound right to me. It might sound good, but I don't like that shit. And it's open verses on songs. And do you ever get back to, uh, do you ever like book a studio session and go in and like, damn, let me go through and finish some of these joints? Yeah, it. that's why I gotta get a hard drive for that, like, cause my, I'm, I'm spread it out. Like, yeah, now I ain't supposed to be moving like that. My shit supposed to be in the wrong. When, when you go record, what's the process like? What, like making music? Yeah, like you go in and you, you dropping a verse first or you doing a hook I'm on the hook, that shit. Like, all the time in my head. I don't take no phone in My phone be dead most time in the studio, so I just love it. I never wrote no song. I probably wrote one song. Why why I feel like a lot of people say it take up it take up too much time. Yeah? Nah, it made me think too much. Like I'm already fucked up. Like that shit just put more pressure on me so I just feel more looser when I hit a beat and I'm just flown punching in and whatever I'm doing. That shit easy. Respect. What can music do for you? Shit, that shit can help my family, for real. That shit can take me out, out the hood. And what can you do for music? Shit, I, I can. But like me rapping on the beat and it's good. That shit easy. That shit gonna take 15 minutes to make more something. Yeah. That's every time. I ain't gonna say every time, but no longer than 45, 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm in and out. Yeah, respect. And, and how long your sessions be? See, I be having five, ten hours. Ten hours? Yeah, I just had a ten hour last week. Damn. Like straight through. We in that joint working. I probably like them 10 hours joint, them new joints that be, I still ain't get them songs from that joint. Like, yeah. produce, some produce be playing with me, but I still gotta be on business time. Yeah. And, and how that make you feel going from like the hood, whatever you was doing, you know what I'm saying, before the music, up until now, boom, switching into a more serious. It be, it be, it just like be the same thing, cause all your men and shit, they come to this dude, so like, they try to try to do me and this motherfucker all day. Yeah. Smoking and all oh, that shit, drinking, whatever. Respect. And what you do for fun outside of the studio? Just running the lobby. It's crazy. I mean, I'm in the field. Yeah. I ain't making music. I'm outside. What 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 um caused the trust issues that you had today? Saying that shit, bro. Like, you saying niggas? Shit, back doing shit, motherfucker. You grew up with that shit, flip flopping. You, you be woke for real. You living in that shit. Your right hand man is smoke right, right in front of you. Some shit like that. Some goofy shit. Yeah, that shit. I have you gonna be on point. Do you um? You feel like you got like PTSD? Respect. I'm just. I just think of that. Like, I think before shit happened, I think of above and past my age, that shit. Yeah. Is there anybody in the city that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Man, it be, it be the time and thing like, see, I know a rack of niggas, like, even before they started rapping, bro, like, sandbox shit and all that, but it be the time and, like, I work with a rack of niggas. I fuck, I'm fucking with Z-Rock. I do something with Savage. I'm oh, fucking. I do something again with Z-Wang. That shit, that old shit was going on. Nah, you want some new shit. But yeah, I fuck with her. I don't got nothing against nobody in the DMV that's right. Yeah. What's the, um, what's your favorite part of rapping? Or being a rapper? 
making that shit in the studio. Yeah. Right. That's better than the, the video shoots. I hate shooting videos, For real. bro. Like, well, I ain't gonna say hate, but I don't really be that shit on Cause it be too much. Do this part over, oh, do this, do that, walk right. That shit be too much, bro. Respect. That's how you go up, though. I feel like, like, even with interviews, interviews is good because people want to see when people listening to you. And they see you, they get to see how you think it, they're like, okay, boom. All right, let me go tap and really see what brother talking about. But, um, do you ever have a hard time recording? Uh, I even when I first started, I was surprised, like, whoa, what the fuck? Your first song was decent or was some shit? My first song? I ain't like it. Er, I swear to God, my fuckers still ask me for that song to this day, bro. I swear to God, I hit that song, bro. Like, it was called Gone. I am. My fuckers really like that. Like, I hate my fuckers. I'm like, you get my shit. That train over this shit. Ooh. Yeah. You know, why, why you not gonna drop it? First song, I gotta touch it up or something. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm gonna say you can go through and record it. But when I recorded that clip uh, studio, he, he, he shut down. He ain't fucking with the music right now. So I probably got 100 songs alone in clip studio, like right now. Do it. Um, do you ever be trying to, uh, are you patient? No, that's the that's what I got work on. I be rushing and anxious to do something. I just need to be chilling because I'm a chill person. I just when something come up or that I really want to do, I be anxious as fuck. Yeah, what's the ideal lifestyle for you? Sitting on the palm trees, smoking palm trees. Yeah. Living. The way I'm living now, it ain't. My fuckers don't want to live like this, but some niggas do. Man. Yeah. Um, what made you want to start rapping? Like, I heard you say your cousin started booming, but what made you be like, oh yeah, let me get in on that? Damn, like, bro, I used to go, I used to wake niggas up for the stupid like, Niggas around me rapping, I used to be geek. Like, come on, come on, let's do the day. Sometimes I pay for it or however it go, but just listening to this shit all day. I mean, when I was a little ass boy, I was fake rapping, but I didn't know what I was talking about, so. I felt like I've been through too much shit. That shit not to be seen or heard. I was gonna say, um, what's the ideal lifestyle like for you? What the hell you mean by that? Like, if you, if you had everything, you know what I'm saying, Grammy nominated, probably like a quarter meal, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or quarter bill, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that bad. What would you be doing every day? Would you still be rapping? Would you have a business? Yeah, I think I'd still be rapping. Just, just like, some niggas get cocky and say that it's not rapping, but you love this shit, you gonna be rapping on this shit. That shit ain't gonna, like that money, that's a lot. I'm I'm just so more worse worried about my family. But they good, I'm good, shit, I'm I'm gonna stack that shit all the way up to the ceiling. Like for real. Man. That shit gotta keep coming and you can't lay down. Yeah. Now what you doing for fun? What, with that money? Yeah. I'm gonna be in the mall, I like the mall. I don't really care for much for jewelry or nothing. For real? Is it is it because everybody got something now or you want like it? Man, I got, I got jewelry now, but like I wake up in the morning and don't even think about that shit. I got chains and shit, bro. Yeah. Man. After you got something for a while, you don't. I've been one like I've been wanting like shot and sand and shit so much. So yeah. I got it. Where you, where you think that come from? Because I be feeling like that too. You know I think it come from like, you just caught up in your ways or like, you never you get so used to it. Like, I'm 23, I never had no type of jewelry. So like, I mean, you got a dog. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? You get some new shit like that. I was geeked up to get this shit, get it. 
dog it for a little bit. After that, that shit ain't that no more. <laughs> you need something else. Yeah, yeah.